everyone. Peace of the Lord with everybody. <clears throat> this is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2793. And again, this is an official government website of Saudi Arabia. <clears throat> the book of a jihad, which means fighting for Allah and Sayyid and going for war. Uh, the chapter name don't not not to torture in the torture of Allah not to torture in the torture of Allah let us see what that hadith is about the Prophet peace upon him he ordered and he said if you find blah blah this guy and that guy and etc guy burn them alive whoops burn them alive if you find those people, burn them by fire. This is the punishment. The Prophet of Islam, you know, the, the Muslims, they will tell you, did you hear what the Christians, the Crusade did? Did you hear what the Catholic and the Protestant did? You know, okay. First, the, the Catholic and the Protestant, when they killed each other, none of them was a Christian because any no Christian should allow to kill even his enemy if he is not in a war with him. Which means, if somebody never harm you, you cannot defend yourself even because he is not harming you. Christianity is very clear. The Lord, he said, if somebody slam your right cheek, you give him the other one. So the one who don't follow the God the teaching of God, he is have nothing to do with God. Now, in here, is Muhammad following the God or no? By ordering people, his men, to burn people alive. And he continued. ثم قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم حين أردنا الخروج إني أمرتكم أن تحرقوا فلانا وفلان. I did order you to burn those, that, this and that. But you know what? You know what? Now Muhammad is thinking about it. This is very ugly and very evil. So he said, "You know what? You know this is the this is the punishment of Allah. Just kill them." <laughs> I thought he would forgive them. <laughs> Muhammad is being so merciful now. So first he ordered them to kill by burning, and later he changed his mind. He said, "You know this is really ugly." <laughs> Maybe people, you know, getting upset around him from burning people alive. This is really, really extremely, extremely evil. You know, he's acting like Hitler now because, you know, Hitler, he was burning the Jewish. Huh? So maybe Muhammad, maybe Hitler, he was taking this from Muhammad. Because the first time we hear about people burning people, it is Muhammad teaching. He's burning people alive. And when he wants to act as a merciful man, this is his mercy. Kill them. Don't burn them anymore. Just kill them. Yeah, I told you before, burn them, you know, but burn this and this and that, you know. No, no, just, just, just kill them. Muhammad is an extremely peaceful, forgiving, nice man. He is not going to burn you. He is going to cut your throat only. And you know what? He will pay for the knife. You don't pay for it. It's for free. And these days, Muslims, they are doing you a favor. They cut your throat and they tape you and they put you in video. So you will be famous in the CNN. You know, amazing religion. You don't pay for the knife even. And you know, imagine they cut your throat and then your blood will be all over. And they have to clean it because you are a dirty, you are a pig, you know. Yeah, so Muslims are so nice people. Yeah, you don't know how nice is the Muslim. Yeah, just look around you, open your TV and watch. Thank you all. And this is Muhammad again saying, ordering people, ordering his men to burn people alive. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari, the book of Al-Jihad was Sayyir, the punishment of Allah. Uh, the, the, the hadith number, two nine, two, sorry, 2793. 2793. And again, Sahih al-Bukhari. So nobody can say this is not true. And you can go and read the explanation by yourself. And by the way, any, any you know, you see the address in, in the top. You can copy it. You can make, you know, you can open it and you can go to Google Translation and you can get the translation of Google because in Google you can translate link. You post the link there, the whole page will be translated. I, actually, I can do that. Like in here, I did translate uh, uh, 
uh, a hadith, different one from Sahih al-Bukhari. The one it says, I've been ordered to fight and kill the people until they witness that there is no God but Muhammad. You see it? This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is a translation of Google. Hadith number 24. The Book of Faith. Muhammad, he said, the messenger of God, peace be upon him, said, ordered, I've been ordered to fight the people until they witness that there is no God, but no God and no, and Muhammad is his messenger. And they do the prayer. And they do the zakat, which means they pay the zakat. If they do so, they will stop me from shedding their blood. And taking their money which means stealing their money you see this is the peaceful prophet of God now let me translate the other hadith I was talking about too now this is a translation of the other hadith you know the one it says Muhammad he ordered his men to go and burn people alive by fire and later he you know he changed his mind about burning people alive because maybe he noticed people they are going so upset for this punishment it's very harsh you know very torturing it's it cannot be a human way to do it you know so he changed his mind and he said, you know, okay, don't do it anymore this way. Just kill them. The forgiveness of Muhammad. Just kill them. So he, Muhammad, he used to burn people alive. Hitler, he stole this idea from Muhammad, I believe, strongly. Thank you all. Peace of the Lord with everyone. And again, if you want to go to Google Translation to see how you can translate a web page, here we go. You go to Google Translation. You post the link in there, as you see. And you click... Arabic to English and you will get the translation easy simple God bless you all and I hope you are learning good about the peaceful religion of Islam thank you